Welcome to another tutorial video, and today we're going to look at some drums. These are very cleanly recorded drum tracks with some gentle compression on the kick drum. Let's take a quick listen. Let's insert Decapitator individually onto each drum tracks to add a little bit color. Today, we prepared this Dash of Culture preset, which uses the triode setting on a Culture Vulture emulation with just a little bit of drive and 100% wet. By adding Dash of Culture preset on these drum tracks, it helps prepare a signal to be summed to a drum bus for further processing. Now that your individual drum tracks have been colored to your liking, let's send them through Effect Rack to further process it. We created a new preset called Drum Bus Honey, and this is great as the first plugin to put on your drum bus. It does some gentle transient shaping, dynamic control, as well as just a touch of heat and some EQing. Let's take a quick look at what it's actually doing here. The first two Filter Freak instances are adding a little bit more transient as well as doing some general compression. Here, using Devil Lock with just a touch mixed in, it's adding a lot of that ambience and the snap back into our mix. Using CQ, I am dialing a bit more high end, low end, but I'm also taking out a little bit of harshness around 3 to 5k. On the radiator, we're doing just about a dB of bass boost, as well as mixing in by 50%, so it's on a parallel setting. Last but not least, I personally love using Filter Freak to shape the low end of my drum bus using a high pass filter with just a touch of resonance at the cutoff frequency. This is similar to using the thump button on Decapitator. Let's listen to the individual instances of plugins within the Fet Rack and what they're actually doing. Check out the new Mandalorian preset we just made today. This is a very cool drum gated reverb vibe inspired by that 80s gated reverb sound. Let's take a listen. What we did here was we used a little bit of Devil Lock for some crunch some Filter Freak for transient shaping, and then we added Echo Boy as well as Crystallizer on some ambient style setting using as a gate reverb, and then send it through Crystallizer to add some further ambience to make it sound like it's in a greater space. Check this out individually.
you can use the mix knob in Effect Rack to choose how much of the effect you want to blend in. Let's look at what else I have on my drum bus. I have CQ and Radiator inserted after my two Effect Rack instances. Smile for the Drummer is a new CQ preset that brings more high-end as well as low-end into your drum mix. Captain Crunch is a new Radiator preset that uses the mix knob at 50% to blend in just enough crunch for your general drum bus. Let's listen to all Soundtoys plugins bypassed on the drum bus, as well as the individual drum tracks. <laughs> 